Arthur Pencilgen had attacked Sunraku. Sunraku remembered a different name for that character as they both used to play together in other game, but in this the name was different. Arthur Pencilgen was a brutal gamer and always dominated other player as they were noobs in front of him. Then Sunraku was battling against Arthur Pencilgen to defend himself and both were doing their best to win against each other. Emil, on the other hand, was losing its magic and was turning back into a rabbit, worrying about other to get to know her true form. Sunraku and Pencilgen were fighting and joking around. Animalia was watching them both fighting in a funny way and tried to understand where did the rabbit disappear, but then she saw Emil acting weird. Ray was sitting in her room all disappointed, as she was unable to meet Sunraku, and so she once again turned on the game to find him. And this time there was an email in front of him which told the location of Sunraku and the rabbit, and so she rushed there with her character. Amal had turned back into the rabbit and Animalia saw that and caught the rabbit. Sunraku then saw her capturing Amal, and so he left the fight with Pencilgen and went to save Amal. Pencilgen then attacked them both, but Animalia came in as she wanted to save Emil from any damage. Animalia then fought against Pencilgen, but she was too strong for her, and she was defeated easily by her. As the time passed, two more characters reached there and challenged Sunraku. But then Rei and the character of Saiger Zero arrived there and helped Sunraku and defeated his opponents. Arthur Pencilgen was shocked seeing a really strong opponent like Saiger Zero there. But she was still fighting with Animalia, who was on ground and tried running towards Saiger Zero so she can meet that character. Animalia didn't want to lose to Pencilgen, so she used her suicide attack and killed herself in the game with Pencilgen, and they both lost. Sunraku ordered Emil to get ready to make a door so they could escape from there. Sunraku jumped over Saiger Zero and entered the town, and then through the door they both went to Rabatuza. While they both took some rest and Sunroku was wondering, why did Saiger Zero save them? Emil then told a Sunraku that they he has to go to the arena and to some training for sharpening his abilities. As they both went to the arena, Sunraku was all pumped up and Emil waited outside and watched him. Ray had closed the game and was dreaming about Sunraku as he talked to her, and she was happy about that. Then a lot of monsters known as Packhounds were opponent of Sunraku. In the start, Sunraku was worried that he will die in there, but the arena was made in such a way that he could revive in there and continue his battle. After a lot of trying, he was finally able to defeat them and advanced to round two. But this time it was a single enemy, but a huge one, but with a lot of trying once again, he was victorious. Then in there, he faced a lot of different enemies and one by one, he defeated them all and gained a lot of experience. Emil on the other side of the arena was glad to see him winning and defeating a lot stronger opponent than him and winning against him. But when Sunraku saw he had only gotten from level 30 to 31, which made him angry and wanted to battle more, but Emil set him to take some rest by he refused. As the time passed, Vice Ash arrived there. Vice Ash then gave an opponent to him to fight in the 10 round as he had captured that monster. But this time Vice Ash gave the winning criteria that he has to survive for five men and will win against the opponent. As the battle started, Sunraku was sure he can win, but then the opponent agility was a lot and he attacked in an instant, but Sunraku defended himself. He saw the level of the opponent, which was 120, and he was thinking just to survive then. As the battle was going on, Sunroku was running all around the battlefield to not the monster hit him, but the opponent was making roots come out of the ground and to attack Sunraku, and he was dodging them at his best. The monster had every kind of magic tricks with him and was not giving a single chance to Sunraku to attack him. And Sunraku just ran around of him to get a chance to attack him, but it was impossible for him and by running he was getting slower and getting tired up. Then Sunraku used the route to get closer to its opponent and he got successful. Vaisash thought of it as a joke, but Sunraku did it easily and when he reached closer he hit the staff that the monster was holding so he could not use his magic on him and picked that staff and started to dodge the roots again. Hamel screamed that only one minute is left, and by that hearing Sunroku was relieved. Sunroku then only ran around to waste the time, and when the timer reached zero he thought the battle ended, but still the monster was chasing him, and then Vice Ash came in and captured the monster away. Vice Ash told him that it was my idea of five men, and not his so he was going to attack you unless I came to stop him. And then Sunroku was glad to hear that he won and has completed the quest. Then he went back to his real world to take some rest. After resting, he came back and saw what he had gotten from his last quest, 
and after realizing he had not gotten anything good, he wanted to go out and to loot some stuff so that he can collect items for later battles, but he had concerns that the hunter will again try to capture him. But then Emil took him to her bother, and from there Sunraku got a huge cap in which he covered himself. Later he went out and got a map from which they both decided where to go next, and they decided to go to the Color Forest Maze to look for loot. But when Sunraku saw Saiger Zero on the corner of the road peeking on him, he got worried. The hunters were having a meeting on the battle they had with Sunraku, and why did the Epsiger Zero attack them? And because of that, they lost and Pencilgun was just listening to them as she had her own plans. As Sunraku saw Saiger Zero, he started the sun, but Rei in that character only wanted to make him friend in the game. But while running, the hunters had also started to follow him, and he got worried and then thought of a trick to go around and trick them. As he lost them and tried to go in the maze, he decided. He came in front of Saiger Zero, and he got scared that he will lose to her. But then she asked him for accepting the in-game friend request. Seeing the request, Sunraku was confused and got to a conclusion that by this she wanted to know about my strategy and she will soon defeat me, and then he thought to do the same to her and accepted the request, but Rei was really happy that she had finally made Sunraku her friend. As Sunraku later reached into the forest, he first of all took his cap off and then started to find loot. He got into fight with different and smaller, bigger insects from which he got few loot. He and Emil then saw a huge beetle fighting with huge bees, and he did his commentary there. But then that beetle attacked him, and he had to kill that beetle, and from that he got some loot. Later, he and Emil went in to find more stuff to collect. As they went in more, they saw different plants and liquid which they collect as energy supplements and moved on. In there, a group of three characters were also wandering around trying to collect loot. As Sunraku was going in the forest, he saw some huge webs and concluded that a big spider is the boss in here, and so he went to a cave, but it was closed as some other player prohibited it for other to enter as they were engaged with the boss. As Emil and Sunraku waited there, they saw a player falling down and getting flattened by a huge rock, but instead of getting scared Sunraku was glad that the place is open now and he can fight the boss. As he reached in, he faced the boss. It was a huge spider which had made some huge webs there, and so Sunraku went in for a battle. The spider was quite stronger than Sunraku, but still he didn't give up and dodged the web attacks dying by the spider so he can get a chance and defeat him. But after some time, he got a plan and made the spider to fall down as he cut few of the webs on which the spider was balancing. As the spider fell on the ground, Emil thought he could have died. But then the spider up and then Sunraku destroyed few more webs which caused the rocks to fall down on the spider and so he came and gave the final hit on the spider and defeated the spider in style. Emil was all cheering up for him on defeating the spider. Then Sunraku got an email for the Pencilgun and another player also had gotten the email from Pencilgun who used to play with them both in other game. Sunraku, Pencilgun and Katsu then met in another game. Their pencil gun told them that we three are going to defeat a unique monster. Both of them were confused on hearing that and pencil gun told that there are seven of such monster and we are going to defeat one of the monster together. Pencil gun told them that they will battle in two weeks and we will get only one chance to defeat him and then they all went back. Ray was too happy and even told the gaming shop lady owner that Sunraku finally accepted my request and on the same day while returning home Ray saw Sunraku in the safe reading some manual. As he got out he was holding some grocery in his hand and so Ray jumped in front of him and Rikuro was also confused that what her name and at last he remembered and told the right name of her. Ray then asked her that will he play the Shangri-La Frontier with him but he was busy and so he went away from there without listening to her. As Sunraku logged into the game, Emil waiting for him, and after Emil heard from Sunraku that he will fight the unique monster, she ran towards Vice Ash to tell him about the Sunraku plan. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.